AFTV down there at the Emirates looking ahead to the game at the weekend. It's a big game for Relegation both the... Relegation battle, Rob. Relegation <laughs> battle. <laughs> Relegation battle. Six-pointer. <laughs> but six foot, you know what? It is a six-pointer, <clears> though. It is a six-pointer. Arsenal versus West Ham United. Always a tasty game. I remember they came here two seasons ago, beat us on the first um, game of the season. Caused a lot of meltdowns. Um, two teams, though, in transition. Two teams that have brought a load of players in. Two teams that have got new managers. And um, it's, then you've got to throw into it the, the Jack Wilshire thing, yeah, yeah. the Lucas Perez yes, thing, yeah. two players from Arsenal that have joined you. It's a really tasty game, isn't it? Do you know what? It's, uh, our defences are so bad, I think both of them, that this could end up being a, a classic. Um, but our defenders, man, uh, they just stand still, Rob. You know what I mean? And I, that's what really worries me about the, the, the weekend is like the pace of Aubameyang and um, Lacazette. I, I think they could just kill us, to be quite honest with you, mate. Um, I'm not looking forward to this one, you know what I mean? I normally come here and I'm normally looking forward to it and I think to myself, like, yeah, we could get sat. But as you said, mate, two teams in transition. I watched you against Chelsea. I thought you played really well against Chelsea. Yeah. It was just the defence. Um, I don't know what the goalkeeper was doing, but um, for the that was the first game, wasn't it? What was the one where he nearly chucked it in his own net? That, that was, was the first, the first game, game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He actually he actually played very well in the second game. Yeah. As a, by the way, it's a police helicopter. Is that a police helicopter? As soon as you turn up here... A police helicopter yeah, is hovering be, right above us. What's going on? Must be looking for it's them EastEnders, man. <laughs> <laughs> because we're looking to steal three points. That's why they must be. They must be keeping their eye on us. You got all the puns today, man. Uh, no, no. Honestly, Rob, it's, I'm I'm worried. You know what? I saw your game at the weekend, and the way in which uh, is it Callum Wilson? He walks through five Oops. players. I was like, whoa. Let's hope they're sort of defending similarly to that at the weekend. But listen, you. you Going forward, though, you've got a lot of a uh, lot of attacking players, of course, Anatovic, um, Hernandez, but then in that midfield area now as well, you've also got our boy Jack Wilshire, yeah. and uh, you brought in the Brazilian as well, oh, Anderson. Anderson. He hasn't been playing well. Felipe Anderson. No. He hasn't been. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he got left out this yeah. week. Yeah, he's been playing. He, he was really poor the weekend. Um, but you know, when it comes to this this sort of thing, Rob, you, you sign ten players. Um, and, and we've signed some quality as well. Yarmolenko came on the other day. He really impressed me. Um, but Anderson hasn't quite settled yet. Um, we're in a transition, as you say, and I'm really excited. When it clicks, it'll click. Mm. Whether it'll click this weekend, I'm not sure. But really? we, have, we, have got, we have got goal scoring options, you know, and out of it, you know, he can be a real handful. And if your defenders are not on it, you know, he can, he can nick mm. one or two goals. But same with your boys, you know what I mean? Really, got, it's really funny because everything you just said, if I was interviewing an Arsenal fan right now, he probably would have said That's the same, same things about transition, about it's a process that, you know what I mean? It's the same thing with us. New manager, new players, you know, e even like, you know, guys like Socrates and that at the back, it's going to take them a time to adjust. Yeah, definitely. It always does. Mm. Um, I'm excited for the future. I know what the future holds for us. I think it's good stuff. You know, the likes of Issa Diop, we signed for 25 million quid. Uh, young staff, very highly rated. It hasn't, it hasn't uh, featured yet. Um, I think we need to go a little bit more back to basics for this game. If we're going to try and get anything out of this game, I think you know the last two experiments against Liverpool and, and, and Bournemouth, they didn't really work. Mm. Um, if I was him, I'd be going back to basics, like sort of what they know. You know what I mean? And, and, and maybe putting a few of the older faces in mm. for a few of the newer faces to come off the bench and make an impact. Um, but this is a tough game, man. This is a tough game. And I know the damage that Arsenal can cause up front. You know, you caused Chelsea a lot of problems the other mm. day. It was just, you know, um, on another day, you know, you might have scored four or five. You know what I mean? So we know the danger that they, they pose. Um, well, how's Jack Wilshire done? Yeah, he's been one of the, the better players that we've, mm. we've signed. You know what I mean? Obviously, he's still bedding in. Playing alongside Noble hasn't done him any favours, to be quite honest with you, because Noble, I think it was quite well documented the other day that he, you know he, he's just not got the legs anymore to play in that midfield without a runner. Mm. Um, I still love Marky Nobes, um, so I could see a change. I could see him being left out for this mm. game, um, maybe coming off the bench later. But he's been one of the bright sparks for us. You know, yeah, sure. we see a little bit of Perez on Saturday. Yeah, what's he, looked, he been like? He looks okay. Yeah, he mm. looked. He came on, looked okay showed a couple of flashes didn't really get that long a great left foot yeah, yeah well we look forward to seeing it you know we didn't see it for that long we was we was under the cosh a little bit as well but um no i think this one's gearing up to be a real good game mm. but if i'm honest 
I don't think we come away with a win in this one. Who do you fear from Arsenal? Aubameyang, mm. Lacazette. Um, Midfield-wise, nobody really. Even even Ozil, you know what I mean? I, I think he's lost his spark a little bit. So, he's lost his magic yeah. a little bit, you know what I mean? So but, what to watch for. There's a, a new kid we got, Gwendozi. Now, he's been getting... The, the last two games, I think he's been our man of the match. He's exceptional talent. Um, got a little mistake in him, I suppose, because he's still a young player. But, you know, I think... If he gets a grip on the midfield at the weekend, we can have a lot of joy. It could easily be done as well. Like the midfield is there to be taken because we haven't got a lot of options in there. Sanchez has just come in. We, we could see him. Mm. We could see Obiang uh, alongside Wilshire. But I, I don't really know how we set up for this one, Rob. You know what I mean? It, it's always such a, a hard game to predict when you've got a new manager because you, you're looking at different situations and he's obviously still working out his best side and his mm. best formations and what to play. So I haven't got a clue what to expect. We could come at you 100 mile an hour, you know what I mean? But we could sit back like we did a little bit against Liverpool, sit back and try and soak up the pressure. And if that, Green's not really a defensive type of manager, he's though. Not, no, he's, he's not really. But, you know, this ain't Man City. This is West Ham United, you know what I mean? So um, <laughs> I think you've got to work with the tools you've got. Mm. But um, it's such a tough one. It's such a tough mm. one to know how he's going to approach it. I think he comes a little bit defensive and tries to hit Arsenal on the break, if I'm okay, honest. Give me a prediction. 3-2 to Arsenal, I'm okay. afraid. Yeah, right, afraid. So that's Nicky's prediction. I'm going to give my prediction over on his channel. I'm doing a video on his channel as well, on West Ham Fan TV. We're really looking forward to the game. Pump for it at the weekend as he's hit the relegation battle, <laughs> as he said. Looking forward to it.